Good morning one and all today we are going to demonstrate on the universal precaution so telling about the universal precaution there are recommended practices used to minimize the risk of exposure of infectious diseases and pathogens carried in the blood and body fluids universal precautions includes hand hygiene use of personal protective equipment such as gloves mask eyewear respiratory hygiene sharp safety safe injection practice and use of sterile instruments and devices and now these are the articles used for the hand washing articles and these are the few precaution used for as an universal precaution now and now we demonstrate about the hand washing procedure rinse the hands from elbow to the fingers apply enough liquid soap to create a good lather rub palms together rub the back of hands dominant on the non dominant and non dominant on the dominant hand and interlink the fingers and interlocking the knuckles give a good frictions on both the side of your knuckles and clean the thumb finger give a good stroke for the thumb finger towards both the side of your hands and give a good finger to movement in a circular motion over the palm on the both side of the palm and give a rotation from wrist to elbow in a circular motion on the both side of your hands and wash your hands and now rinse and wash your hands from fingertips to elbows of your both the hands and now dry your hands by holding the edge of the towel pat dry one side of your hands take the opposite end simultaneously and use the other side of the towel for drying your hand and now we move on to the use of personal protective equipment such as mask face shield cap and shoe cover and now we use the head cap head cap is ideal to prevent the hair fall falling from the head or scalp especially which is responsible for contaminating the environment and take a mask hold the both the side of the mask the string of the mask place it on the nose put it on the both side of the ear lobe pinch the bridge of the nose of the mask and pull it over the chin the mask has to cover the whole nose and chin take a face shield and cover properly so it should cover the face completely and use the shoe covers the shoe covers should be worn as a part of full barrier precaution these are the some of the universal precaution to be used in the practice and now we go with the gloving and gowning in gowning open the sterile pack with one hand pick the folded gown from the wrapping the grasping the ground through all layers being carefully to touch only the inside top layer which is exposed put your hand from one side and to the other side of your hand tie and secure the back of the gown by an assistant and now we go with the glove open the glove put it on the tray of a sterile tray open flat grab the left hand glove with the right hand 
turn the left hand so that the palm is upward and slide your fingertips into the folded cup of the left glove use the gloved left hand pick the folded cup of the right glove and pull the glove up to the gown wrist gloves can be now adjusted and now removal of the gloves hold the tip of the non dominant hand and pull the gloves and use the two fingers of the left hand inside the gloves remove by covering the next hand and now discard to the recycling red pen and now we see about the respiratory hygiene use tissue handkerchief dispose them into the waste containers and perform hand hygiene sneeze into your upper sleeve or elbow not your hands and now we see the sharp safety do not recap the used needle and now we will see about the one scoop technique to discard the used needle safely in the puncture proof container thank you one and all